Okay. I know many of you kids that want a modern and capable hard to mountain bike that you want to learn on and progress your MTB skill. I won't fall apart and it doesn't cost too much because let's face it, we're kids, we'll grow out of it pretty quickly. It was good timing that Bikes Online reached out and asked me if I wanted to review and test this bike, which I will show you very shortly. And I missed my old hardtail, so of course I said yes. So I'm very excited to show you the all new 2023 Polygon Extrada 24. I mean like, isn't that a good looking bike? It's cool. So I've been riding my full suspension for quite a while now. And I must admit, there have been some times where I really wanted to feel the overall fun of having a hard deal. Just to note that Bikes Online sent me this for review and don't keep it so I can say whatever I want. One of the things that you'll notice when you're buying bikes online, see what I did there, is it comes in a box and you have to build it yourself. Now, with the power of editing, I will make this teleport to the bike stand. Ta-da! Let's build it. The assembly is easy. You just have to attach the heat post and there's a multi-tool and pedal wrench in the box, which you can use to attach the handlebar front wheel and pedals. There's several things that I like about this bike, but there's also a couple of things that I'm not really a big fan of. I'm gonna try to put this bike to the limits. It's actually pretty fun. Like, a lot of people might think that hot hills are not that fun, but there's a lot of positives about them. I mean, like, they're a good beginner bike. They're more easy to turn around because it's easier for hot hills to have a short sh chain stay. And it's overall a little lighter. The clear standout is the Microshift Advent X 10 speed clutch drive train. This alone, the shifter cassette and derailleur is about the third of the bike so if you're gonna choose a different bike that has uh for example a shimano altus and you want to upgrade to this well you're gonna have to spend about the third of this bike but if you buy this bike it already comes with it so what is a clutch derailleur so a clutch derailleur is basically a high tension derailleur so when you're going off big drops and other stuff like that. You don't have massive chain slam that is very annoying and not very good for your chain stay. The Avid X is the top of the line drivetrain from Microshift. It is lighter to a comparison of a Shimano Dior. And it's got this special shifter that, that has a push-push system. It used to be a push and you downshift with your index and you pull but now you only have to use your thumb so you can keep your finger on the brakes the shifter is easy enough to operate with my little tiny hands so you can shift up and down easily when you're on your trail this together the efficiency of the hardtail makes climbing not too bad at all next up is the Esa Santo Xia Junior Air 4 Awesome. It is an air fork, so you can adjust it to your weight. So you don't have those coil forks that are way too hard for you, and you can never go down any technical terrain. You will need a shock pump to adjust the suspension on the bike. And if you don't have this, you will need to get one. It has a total of 80 millimeters of travel. And that might be quite disappointing for some of you kids, but I figured out that it's quite a bit progressive and I was not able to bottom it out. It looks pretty good. It's got black stations and the stickers actually match the color drop. It's blue, the stickers. The hydraulic brakes is an excellent choice from Polygon. The brakes are the Clark's M2 Junior hydraulic disc brakes. It's pretty similar to a Shimano MT201. Out of the box, the brakes 
are really not that good. But once you bend them in properly, the brakes are good enough. I can do endo skids and I can stop on every single sketchy feature when I really need to. The levers are light enough to use with one finger, especially with tiny heights like mine. At this price point, I really can't complain. It's good enough and it does the job. And if you really want a bit more stopping power, the brakes are compatible with Shimano pads, so you can run those. The frame looks really good with this aquamarine blue color, and it looks really good with black. The frame is pretty modern looking. It's got a tapered head tube and internal cable routing. It doesn't come with the dropper post, but it's easy to do it because it's got the holes in the seat post and you just root the cable up and that just is the dropper post. The cranks are perfect for kids. It's a 140 millimeter crank and that's really short. It's the shortest you can get. The other thing that is specced well with the bike is the V-Tire Crown Jump. It is specifically for XC and so is the bike, but it provides good grip on muddy terrain and rocks. Surprisingly, the included pedals are actually quite good. They work well with my Liat MTB shoes, and if you're not doing a lot of downhill tech, you won't need to replace them. There's also a chain guide provided with the bike. It helps your chain from not coming off. There is also room for a bottle cage and you can fit a bottle to about a 650 mil. And it's very handy to have water bottles on the trail because you're obviously gonna get thirsty. Advantages of this bike. Well, for me, it really just comes down to personal preference and all the disadvantages I have about this bike is very, very easy to replace. The build kit has a non-lock-on grips that are quite thick and I found them very hard to grip on so I replaced them straight away. I also noticed that there was a lack of chainstay protector. And at this price point, I'm really expecting at least a piece of rubber to protect the chain on the chains. I really enjoyed riding a hardtail again. It was super fun. I got to experience all the things that I used to, and I really would look forward to having an aggressive hardtail or even just a dirt jumper for myself. I did lots of jumps and I went through rock gardens and all of that technical stuff. And I was so surprised by the end of that, that it was still holding up straight from out of the box condition. If you're ready to graduate from a Walmart bike to a, a bit more capable mountain bike, then I think this would be a really good option for you. You can ride this bike with family rail trails to and from for school. You can ride it in the nearby skate park and even flowing mountain trail. And you can even ride it in that secret dirt jump place that you found. This bike is designed to be an introduction to mountain biking, yet it is capable to do decent trails and not fall apart after a couple rides. And that's what the Polygon Extrada 24 delivers. It is reasonably priced compared to its competitors. And I would pick this one because it has more modern geometry, it's better looking, and it's got overall better specs. Closest competitor that I would consider would be the Marin San Quentin 24. It's got more aggressive geometry and it's a bit more expensive by a couple hundred. Polygon has absolutely nailed it in terms of the most important parts of a bike, such as the drivetrain, brakes, frame, and the suspension. All the other things can be personalized to your liking in any way for a bit not much money. Hope you like this review. Watch out for the next part, which I'll be putting in that bike next to a full suspension. Till the next video, shred hard, ride safe. See y'all.